had a dating relationship. We were together six years. Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv. I'm very sure most of you have heard of Alima, actress Alima, Nollywood actress. And uh, allegation against an Edo State Awichi based apostle, Johnson Suleiman. Suleiman has, um, you know, arrested a lot of people and he has um, dropped a lot of YouTube channel once they mention him. He will report videos. Alima accused Apostle Johnson Suleiman for her health decline. She said she suffered a lot. In fact, she claimed that Suleiman used her for some spiritual, ritual, sexual, whatever. Till date, Alima has not gotten herself. We are not sure what happened between them. We heard other women talk about Apostle Johnson Suleiman and his sexual exploits. In fact, right now, what we know, and I want you to stay with me because we are going to listen to Alima. They say these pastors, prophets, apostles will mount a woman. You know what I mean? They do not wash. The next thing they jump on their altar, their pulpit, in front of the congregation to prophesy. They say the more women, the less they wash themselves, the better the anointing. Let us get right into it. Do not forget to like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe. What, what kind of relationship did you have? You said you've known him for 11 years. You've dated him for 6 years. Yeah, he called me on the phone and I told him this is not Halima. He wanted to speak with Halima. And I said this wasn't Halima and he kept insisting that it was. So he kept sending messages to me and I keep saying stop sending the message. And he said, you know, they told him already that was what I was going to say. So he kept sending messages until he said, what will he do to convince me that he wants to be a good friend and be of help in any way he can, that he's a fan of mine. And I told him, I don't, I don't really associate with people via phone. And, you know, he kept, he, he kept pushing for like two months. And then um, I, he sent me a very long message that I should give him a, uh, a chance or so, I can't remember. Now, the question a lot of people are asking is this. How come you, as an actress, you do not know Apostle John Suleiman? Of course, of course, of course. That's the question that is on the lips of a lot of you. But do you know Apostle John Suleiman is not known by everybody? Apostle Suleiman is not part of those top generals. You know, in Nigeria, when I say general, not the military, they call them fathers of faith. He's not Kumuye. He's not Adeboye. Is not a Yakilome. Those are top, top, top. Although he has his branches, but how many people know him? It seems only people from Edo State are into what he does. Question is this. How come she doesn't know? Well, she might, she might not. In all honesty, did you know he was married as soon as he started teaching him? No, 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 I did not. He told me he was separated. I mean, if I know it's another thing, I know what I'm going into. I, I didn't know. Even I was asking him, you know, he should go back to his wife. I mean, the family, you know, is more important than anything. And he said um, he knows what he wants, that um, he's working, on, they are working on it. I usually, you know, beg of him to go back. There was no time and I ever said, don't go back. I said, go back to your wife. It's not good. You have young children so that the mother can be there. I didn't know that he was lying and all that. Did you guys ever get to the point where you were engaged or there was a form of traditional exchange between you two or introduction? Oh, well, he, he, he proposed more than seven times. You know how some of you guys do. And okay. um, he called my mother on the phone and my... I'm, I'm not one of those guys, by the way. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying guys lie a lot. Okay. So um, he, he's called my family together. He's been here several times. He's invited my mother several times for meeting of the so-called introduction and um, even my father. So I don't know what to call that if that's not an introduction. It is crazy. So were you also uh, not scared that uh, you were going to a relationship with a supposed pastor 
that was not supposed to be having sexual relations with anybody because he's supposed to be holy. Well, at that time, I didn't know he was a pastor. I wouldn't know who is a pastor and who isn't until I Google. In 2009, I didn't know who he was. And he even asked me, he said, are you sure you don't know me? And I asked him, am I supposed to know you? Because I really didn't know him. And he kept asking me if I don't know him, like I'm supposed to know him. So I said, I don't know him. And when I went on Google, I always got one search, which is not on Facebook, whatever. I didn't see any other thing. And then gradually, he started showing me like a pamphlet of the church. He said he was um, teaching the students on Sundays, like Sunday school. He, he talked, you know, public speaking, and he owns an oil and gas company in Port Harcourt. So you can see that he is an ouchie, but he told me he lives in Port Harcourt, which is another lie, you know. Um, so I didn't know him as a pastor. I didn't know. When I knew, I was so scared, and I was, let's break up and all that. And he, he called my mother. He was shouting that, um, um, look at what I'm doing. If the religion, because he's a Christian, I'm not trying to, you know, he was trying to make it a religious thing. I think you feel what he's doing is natural. He's not doing anything bad because he told me, you know, um, he's human. That's what he usually uses as the excuse. Several times, um, I wish maybe my mom is here. She would have um, attested to that. Severally, I have. That's what he says, he's human. And God knows I did not know. And when I knew, we broke up for a while. And he came, you know, because when he when I do something like that, he will go. And then you have to start, you know, saying sorry, 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 what's the problem and all that, before he will not tell you again the reason. So after a while, like four years later, he said um, they are trying to go back and all that. That's when I knew he was married. What well, did you know he was a pastor? No, I didn't know he was a pastor. I didn't know. He told me himself after two years, he started bringing his tapes. He told me he's a Sunday school teacher in church, not a pastor. So I wasn't seeing a pastor. He's a Sunday school teacher. I mean... I don't, I don't know if there's difference. And he said, you know, he's allowed to have a relationship because he doesn't want to have anybody else. That's why he wants me, as, you know, as his girlfriend. And we were together for six years. It would have been eight if he wasn't doing commando. You understand? And um, kept me um, bleeding for a while. We would have been together for 11 years. Or probably we would have broken up now because, of course, I know who he is right now. Okay, Most of um, the things I found out, I found out online. When did you stop dating? We stopped dating in 2017. And uh, that was January 2017. Um, even while I was sick, I was sick that period. He was still coming to see me. Um, then he left and came back again in February. February. Then I didn't see him in 2017 at all. Then he came back 2018 to tell me that the government were after him. That's why I didn't hear from him and all that, you know, all sorts. I have them, I have the conversation, you know. So, I mean, somebody that has been going through a lot, that has been suffering, waiting and all that, you know, you didn't say anything. You said the government is after your life, you know, one year later. I was just calm, you know, because I cannot just attack. So I was waiting for him to explain to me what's going on because I saw that, you know, um, they are back together, him and his wife, and I was seeing okay. other. Did you understand? Did you ever get pregnant for him? Yeah, I mean, I was, yeah, I was. Why did you keep kid? it? I, uh, yes, of course. Oh my God, when when I lost it, he was crying. You would think that thing was real. He was crying. He was shedding tears. That I lost his child. It's crazy. So how many times did you get pregnant for him? Three times. The last one left me bleeding. I have to take tablet to stop it if I wanted to stop. When did for you stop? How long for did you long? bleed? For five years. I actually just came out of a, a long I had to have been in in um you know in my own spiritual <laughs> battle so i just came back the blood just stopped rushing you won't believe it i wasn't seeing my period because i don't mm -hmm. know what you, you were bleeding for three years 
after you no 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 i was bleeding no i was bleeding for four years he said she was bleeding for four years you know it makes me go back to the story of the woman with the issue of blood that touched the coming of jesus christ but unfortunately um, these apostles do not have any garment that they want you to touch for your healing. They will rather create infirmity in your life. From what she has said, of course, this is our own story. And um, Suleiman responded, he said, how is it possible that all of these names, even if I am so strong, I am so wild, how can I have done all of these women? And I'm like, like, seriously? Of course. Of course, it is possible to do all of this women, particularly if there is a spiritual intonation into it. He has been called Nakademos of Awuchi Edo State, Nakademos of the Christian Occultic Church. He has been called several names. He has been called, you know, and you know, when Otobo, of course, many of you know who Otobo is, brought out that story and pictures. Well, only Suleiman's wife will know if the image of his bola is his own and some other body parts. You know, it is so crazy. But do you think Suleiman's wife will just walk away? Walk away from a multi-billion dollar, multi-billion dollar business? Church is an investment. Apart from other businesses, if they break out, how is she even sure that she herself will not be dealt with? Apostle Suleiman's audio voice note has been all over the place at the end of the day uh rccg pastor adeboye he is also aware of the you know terrible terrible things that his own pastors and you know he's not as if he himself is a saint and there is no way he will work other people's salvation he's working his own he might end up in hell he might end up in heaven well he went to suleiman's church to cut the long story short he went to Suleiman's church, not at the real event. He just came in like, okay, you know what? Let me just come now. Uh, let me not just come. Let me not come when the event is really on. Let me come before the event, prior to the event. And Suleiman said he had to quickly gather people. The point is this. They took pictures. They took videos. He knelt down with his wife to show that I am under open that this was going to redeem his image. Well, Nadem Sabi, let us hear... Um, Princess, comedian, she's coming into this with Alima. Let us hear. You understand? No. If you're dating somebody for that long, and according to you, you said, obviously, he is spoken to your mom, he's spoken to your family, and yeah. he's made efforts to see them. So yeah. one would expect that in six years, if you're dating someone, you should know where he lives. You should know where he puts his head. Even I if he has to I know where he lives, but I've never visited. I think so. That's the right. Yes, the truth. The truth. Yeah. So this yes, that's yes. the truth. Um, we always say that we have an apartment in Maryland where we see each other. Okay. Okay. It's like just for two of us. Or okay. He's in Protea in Ikeja here, I go meet him for whatever time he's around for. I'm being okay. true by telling you the places. I appreciate that. Now, also, yes. you also said something. You said he told you. Um, him and his wife, they were separated. Yes. Then years later, he said they were coming back. Yes. That that because was I when always he tell him to go back to her. So, and all so that, you, he always has a word to say. Okay, so you knew he was married. You just I thought he was separated. separated. Yes. Okay, okay. So now I'm going to ask you something else. You said you were pregnant. And at the third time, you were bleeding. So I want to ask you a direct question. That bleeding, did it give you anything? Did it directly give you something to terminate the pregnancy? Did it bring water or anything, or it was just you? I don't know. I, anytime we have something to do together, I notice that, you know, I bleed. So I usually tell him that, okay, I'm bleeding, you know? But um, no, it's not like um, something that I can recall. I know that, I, I, you know, whenever I'm there, I'm free to drink anything whether from him or I wouldn't know whatever it is about. And please be a guest for her, okay. her governor coronation or something. So, and she knew I was not feeling fine and she forced me okay. to go on that trip. You know, when okay. we were going, she brought Suleiman Johnson's um, issue and she just started talking about him. You understand? There was no connection between I and um, 
her and Johnson. She just brought the name up, which means okay. there was a reason for her bringing it up. I have never sat mm -hmm. with you, Chan George, to talk about anything personal. You know, it was just a new friendship. You, you get. So um, okay. I didn't know why she, you know, squeezed herself inside somehow. And she was asking me personal questions, which eventually I still told Johnson. I sent him a message. I said, Chan George is saying this about you. And he told me she's a gossiper. That anything she says, I should not believe her. That she's okay. just lying. Do you understand? So so, yeah, and then she came back to come and write that nonsense she was writing after telling me that, and after him telling me she's a liar and a gossip. And at that time, he wasn't even seeing me, he, but, you know, he was replying, you know, one, one, you know, and, you know, um, trying not to be accountable. So Shanjo just inserted herself in a place where she was not needed. That's why I had to come for her. Because, you okay. know, she liked carrying, or she liked gossiping a, a lot. She said too many things to me that I, I couldn't take that one. Okay. So um, that means while you were going through the hell you were going through and trying to just, you know, put up a, a strong front, she came and pretended to be like a friend. A friend. And then invited you to, for this event, which you said, I mean, you were not strong enough, but you still tried your now, best to attend. It was myself, Chacha AK. Chacha AK was there. Myself and Chacha AK. Okay. I don't know if you remember. Because I can see she's going through her own too. So okay. what is it? What is it? That's why I have to drag Shan George. I've not dragged Shan George yet. I've okay, do you think... Did, was Chacha among the names that um, Apostle mentioned? Um, I don't know. But I'm just telling you who was there. If I'm Okay, at that time. I'm, I'm, I'm saying my story and anybody's name can fly in. Okay, okay. So I also... you were, you were When you were talking about when you were unconscious you mentioned that you only saw maybe just three people from um, no 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 actually yabojo came here the first time um, okay it was still yabojo's um, story that shan george was talking about and johnson told me yabo was his cousin so i know yabojo as his cousin so if you okay. can tell me yabojo is his cousin you can see everything was a right was was a mirage it was a what do you call it i don't know it's like a pathological liar. How can she okay. be your sister? Now, suddenly, then, I'm like, oh my God. How can your cousin be among these people? Anyway, I'm just trying to tell you, oh, this is this, and anybody's name can enter. Because this is a true life story. There is nothing, um, um, you know, to be proud about. I'm just, um, I just want people to learn. You understand? Uh, that um, there are a lot of people out there who don't like you, and there are a lot of men who are out there to deceive um, women, and um, for us not to be greedy too. At that time, I was praying to God to you know send somebody to me. I won't lie to you. So when he came, I thought, oh God, you are nice. <laughs> I didn't know, and, you know. I I actually you know that was a rock. I did. So that means that, that was that means from what you're saying, apart from the first five hundred k. He probably sent you more money over time, according to what you're of saying. Of course, now we were dating. We started dating. Okay. Yes, so he was dated for six years. Wow, wow. Yeah. So, uh, so um, somebody said, okay, I think um, it was this number I said. I'm not reading the. Uh, Me too. I can't read it. That's why, because of the light, but I'm, I'm, I'm using this. So, um, you, I want to ask you a question. Go ahead. That time, after the period that he didn't call you, I want you to think back from that period till now, especially when news was flying around. Did he send you death threats? Did he send you voice notes? Did he threaten you in any way? Uh, yeah, the threat is for me to go and die now. Do you understand? Because he didn't think I'll come and agree that yes, yes, we dated, or yes, I was sick, or I had a spiritual attack. Um, or something. He, I don't think anybody, including my own family, didn't know that I was going to come out and say it. Okay. And I agreed to it. You understand? Because the idea is to protect this person. When I found out, I was buying him caps. I was buying it. Wow. I was getting him things to wear to just for him to, you know, disguise himself. Almost all the mm -hmm. caps he's wearing, I bought all of them. Wow. 
yeah so you know it's like um i'm i was trying to you know cover for him cover up for him. At him denying everything and lying to my face and then um doing what he did and left me in pain that would not have taken anything from him to just either send somebody or check some you know ask somebody to say oh this person is sick he even told me while this thing was going on was that somebody said they should help me he did not answer the person because he knows that I'm not a good person. Can you imagine? Help me. Somebody you dated for six years. Help. It has become help. And then I wow. go and die. So there is nothing for me to hide about this, you know. Um, yeah. So did he, did he at any point in time sue you for anything you posted or for anything you said? Did he, did he sue you or did he threaten to sue you? Um, he did all that. I mean, we'll, we'll go and talk about our sex life there. I'm ready to go to court if he's ready. Just to Has he charged you to court already? No, he did not. He just sent me a, a, a cease and desist letter. I'm not, I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of fighting. We can roll in the mud. No problem. If it wow, this, this, is not, this is not a joke. I mean, come on. Let us be very realistic about this. Did you hear what she said? She said... The thought of Suleiman was for her to have, you know, suffered from this and eventually die. Why was she supposed to die? Was she used as a sacrificial lamp? Is it that uh, she went against the covenant? What was it that went wrong? Right now, Alima says she's struggling and wherever she goes, they will say, go and beg that man. And she said she has been doing her best to beg, but this man has refused. And, you know, she has made it public. And let me just tell you another thing. She's not the only one that has come out. There is another actress that came out publicly to say, this is what I used to do, hook up. And I was linked to Suleiman. This is what happened. I am confessing my sins. I do not care about the randomness of anybody, pastor, apostle, because I do not see them as people without sin or people who cannot commit sin. But this ritual thing, these people are not men of God. They are not servants of God. This ritual thing, this ritual thing is what I still do not really understand. Using women, using this, using that. Come on. What is really going on? These people are very dangerous. And, you know, not everybody who pre present themselves as pastors are really men of God at the end of the day. That's the truth. That is the reality. When we started going out, I was dreaming of him sleeping with me. Oh my. So sometimes I would... I was, I don't know, I noticed a shadow, it would be like, you know, I just saw someone, you know, even in Asaba, when I went to shoot, um, Mr. Titi, the ticket, and bear me witness, I couldn't act, I couldn't read my lines, my director said, I'm not giving him what he wants, and then they had to call him, as the next person on my phone, because I was, you know, I was almost running mad, something was going on, and my head was really banging, like I was going to run mad. So they had to call him. They gave him 15 missed calls. He didn't pick with my phone. My oh, mother my. had to give him 15 missed calls before he called. Then he now called the location. They now asked him to talk to me so that I can act because I came to act in Asaba. When I got there, something entered me. Now, oh, now, now, wait. Before we begin to rush, she's mentioning names. But this is kind of a little bit... I don't know. Suleiman is married and... A lot of people know that Suleiman is married. Well, you know, among these, their circle, there is a lot of things that happens. So Suleiman was called. Suleiman was called. Why? Because they know Suleiman with her. So if they know Suleiman with her, how come they don't know that Suleiman is a man of God in court or man of the devil in court? Like I said, Suleiman might not be that popular. But at least around certain circles, they know that Suleiman is a pastor. After all, they put themselves on TV. It's not as if this thing happened like 25 years ago, like 30 years ago when, you know, Suleiman wasn't who he is. Let's say at least Suleiman has been into ministry, let's just say 17 years, because I think their church celebrated 17 years anniversary. So as if it is just, come on, what's going on here? And all that. So my mother had to... You know, asked me to come to the village. I went to the village. We started going about acting, you know, and all that. And he kept telling me that he was coming. That's the funny part of it. You get. So we kept waiting. And then I started taking English uh, medicine to stop it. Because okay. if I sit down, 
There is no way I will not flood that place with blood. Oh Your my, blood. it was that bad. It, it was, was that bad. I couldn't see it. If you go back to all the pictures I snapped on the red carpet, you see me with bloated tummy, with skin cuts. Those period were the period I was going through hell. I was going through it. Did but his wife know, know about you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So because she never made contact. What I've seen and from what I've seen and what I'm still saying, he was living uh, many lives because um, it's not double life again. It's many lives because I'm not the only one apparently. Oh some, are, some are some are dead for, for real. The, the people I know, some are dead. For I real. don't understand. Please come again. Like you the know, people I know that know that him. he did it. That, that yes, that was bleeding too. She died. Oh the other one had the spinal cord. She had an accident. She was bleeding no. too. You know, they all came to me. The other one is a musician. She's late now. I want to face him in court if we are going to court so that, you know, we can have a really nice, um, um, you know, um, uh, what do you call it? Trial. You have time to defend yourself. Did this person, this musician came to you and, you know, spoke to he you told, about him. He told me already that he told her we are dating, so she's going to come and act like my friend, which is the same thing he ever did. So, you know, um, my dear, this thing is deep. Wow. So the other person is now on the wheelchair. Yes. Or, I have and their interviews. You have their interviews. Good. So I, I was going to ask something before you. So while you were at the location, please make me understand, you were constantly bleeding. Yes, continuously, I was and I couldn't read my script. I could. That must have been because he lost too much blood. Yes. So I couldn't. I couldn't say anything, and you know it was just shameful. Something that you've been doing for years. Somebody will just come and destroy your life, and you're not the one calling him up and down. Somebody that you know shed tears to be with me. Something happened. Now, and this is this is I don't that, know. the ring you gave to me, the wristwatch, the promise. As in, what, what was all that about? He gave you a ring, so you guys were engaged or something. He gave me a he ring. Proposed. He, he proposed. He proposed. Yes, and even he promised wristwatch. I have everything here. So now I want to ask you. Now we we have a period of when he didn't come. Now we now have a period after the list came out so now i want to pick from that time now from that time up till now apart from the time that he said go and die did he make physical contact with you did he try no to... no, no no he sent um he sent somebody to threaten me and tell me if i do not debunk this he will not talk to me again okay. and i sent him a message directly that what do you mean you won't talk to me were you talking to me before because for, I've not heard from him um, since um, 2019. Okay. And suddenly, you understand, if you don't talk to me for that long, is it now? I didn't even care about all those things until um, one, one of the bloggers actually wanted to use me. She said, oh, this person was your ex, Abby, or you guys are still dating, I don't know. Sir. She wanted to use her brain on me. So okay. um, when she came, I'm like, why? She said, because I just commented on Yabojo's page. And Yabo has been the one saying so, so and so to Johnson about me. The lady said. So I'm not saying okay. why would you say anything like that for? Because she has been to my house. Even though I knew there was small, even if he said she's discussing, I'm not stupid. Then she was yes, coming close to me. You understand? I, I, I can't believe, you know, um, Yabo is the so-called sister. She came to my house separately. Then I gave her a role I'm, I'm, in my movie. She gave me a role, okay. to, which I thought was a sister thing to do. Was that period, what, the time that Yabo came to see you in your house, was that the period where you were at home, bleeding? When I started when said, to, okay. yes. I actually cried to Yabo that my boyfriend did this, and she was actually consoling me. Then I was emotional. Yabo was okay. consoling me, you know? And then she went to tell him, and he sent me a message that, I'm going to tell every Nollywood story um, person about us. I'm like, can you imagine somebody I'm hiding? I've never agreed to update you. So the lady asked me to go and delete that comment from Yabo's page, which I did. 
she now told me everything here but said i'm shocked when she wrote that thing she wrote i'm like which, she sorry. Just herself. okay so sorry what sorry which statement was this because you know you know initially you said you just wanted to say your own part you didn't want to bring other people but now that you mentioned the statement which was the statement they asked you to, you put up a statement what statement was was it that you you were asked to delete you no what was I didn't the delete it. no okay no i just said beautiful yeah that, that's, just beautiful. Beautiful. that's all i am always you know saying beautiful on her post there was no maliciousness or anything so he asked you to delete that post no um a lady i don't actually want to call her name she did okay she did, okay she did the write up on um on this issue you know okay um she came in to you know she came into my life with her own um malicious intent because she's been doing that anyway so she now said i should go and delete it now now that i don't know my enemies i don't know my friends so what does she i went back okay. after hearing what she said then i deleted it so okay. i unfollowed the album i okay so when I followed her, I said, wow, I can't believe. It. And I said, thank you so much. You know, I can't so believe you told me this and all that. I was, you know, saying, oh, she now said, but now she wants to, she want me to do her a favor back. I said, okay. what is it? She said, she wants me to send Johnson a message saying that she wants to write about both of us. So that Wait. she can come in and bring us together and all that. So is this person a blogger or is she in your industry? Yes, Stella Dimoko. She inserted herself. I wasn't going to call her, but she brought herself inside. Okay. She posted on her page now and uh, removed all her, saying she, she will not reply. I have all our, our chats there. So, okay. you know, I called him when my mom, my mom had, my dad had a stroke um, two years ago. So um, that's the time where I was chatting with Stella. And then... I, I think I went to Ghana to receive an award. And she said, why didn't I tell her? You know, why don't I give her my gift? I said, because I know her. I'm not, I'm not somebody to sway anymore like that. I wasn't interested in anything she wants to write about my career. And then she kept saying she didn't know I was ill. She didn't know I was ill, but made 30 posts about it. It's not necessary. So I, I, I he now said, uh -uh, I should send the story. Let him see. And I sent him the story. When I sent him the story, she said, oh, my God, that's not what she said. I should send him. I didn't know I sent our chat instead of the blog post. So, oh, okay. That means, yeah. So, so that means when talking. you sent it to Apostle, yeah, Apostle Solomon told Stella. Please Stella now. Johnson. His name is Johnson. Johnson. Oh, why? Oh, Johnson. Okay. Yeah, because so, I don't know him as Apostle. So don't call him Apostle, please. Okay, sorry about so, that. Sorry about so, that. So when you sent it to Johnson, Johnson contacted Stella that see what she sent to me. And then Stella now said he now said I should ignore. He didn't answer okay. any of these messages all these years. Then he said ignore. When he said ignore, and now because then I already told him that my mother was ill. And then he, he was there insulting me. An actress called me that, ah, do I know Suleiman? He's here insulting my parents and all that. Oh. After telling him, where, where was he doing that? Said, I need money. So he now thought he was talking about me. And the guest name is Choma Okoye. The Choma Okoye now called Choma me, told me that, uh, yes, that um, Sule is talking about me and insulting my parents. So I now sent him a message that because I said, asked you for money. Money, you said if there is anything they need to buy. We should let you know. If anybody gives me money, it's a problem. Wow. So he doesn't allow you to collect money from other people. Uh, nobody. So that's the only person I know. I don't do runs. Everybody knows that. So I don't hmm. understand. Stella was now saying he doesn't owe me. If I don't go and delete this, he doesn't owe me anything. My dear, I was pregnant three times. Do you know that? What's your business? You saying he doesn't owe me. How do you know that? Okay, so that means while you were talking to him about that, that means he was in contact with Stella because he Stella couldn't have known. She now told me she thought I had a baby because I had to lie that I had a baby. So okay. she now said to him, she wants to come back and take care of my baby. How can you come back and take care of my baby? If I had a baby, is that how Stella is going to give my child away like that? Wow. She told me that's an innocent child. If there was a baby, is that how Stella would take that baby and give it to Johnson? So this because means that this means that all the while she was in contact with you, he was somehow in contact she was, with her. Which is where I'm going because all the while she was in contact with you, trying yes, to get your phone. That means she was in contact with him as well. 
Yes, she was sending people to my DM so that I can tell them what the problem is. You understand? That's why she went and did that PSA immediately because apparently they were fighting. She was the one who collected that money. What's Stella's business with collecting 2.5? Stella was the one who collected it just to send it to me because I had insulted my mother. That's how she came about in this story. Sorry, I don't get it. So, my mom preferred to give the money to Stella to give you, than to give no, it to you directly. No, she said, since I know now, and this is bringing another problem, he should send, you understand? Because that's when he said he didn't want to help me until Stella said, I'm like, Stella, Stella telling you to help me. How is that possible? Wow. You're, not even, you're not even angry that I heard it from another actress. He was telling Stella to tell me that he was not dating the girl. He's not dating her. What's my business? If it's not dating, okay. is that what you're saying? It's not dating uh, yeah. Shoma Yes, that's so, his own problem. So he was trying to mend that fence so that maybe you people could still get back together. I don't but know. But he didn't tell me. He said he wasn't going, he said he wouldn't have sent the money if not for Stella. Yes. No, no, no. He said that while this argument, because they, were, they started saying blackmail or something. That okay. was the money I asked for. My dad oh, asked okay. me, Yes. I lost three people in my house. She said it's a bogus story. I don't understand. Three people cannot die in somebody's house. It's I don't possible. know what's bogus about it. What is bogus about it? If I say I need 100 million, she be somebody I know. I don't understand now, where blackmail is from. Now, did she give the money to you? She did. She, she, not, said, she not said that she sent her a text directly to thank her. And I said thank you and thank him too. That's all. Since, you know, Stella is the woman that I'm supposed to text uh, my history to, I didn't tell her anything about uh, my sickness. I didn't even say anything. I didn't tell her a word. And you didn't grant the interview? No, I did not grant any interview to anybody. Okay, so, not. She so, just wrote that thing and inserted her own. And, you know, it's a PR now. She has to work. You know, Stella is good at what she does. But, you know, she lies too much. That's the one thing about Stella. She doesn't know where, where to stop. Okay, so I want to bring your attention to something. Um, I think the battery, um, um, maybe just the battery will soon go off. But if okay. it goes off, I will come back live. You can join the live. But before, before that, in case it doesn't, okay, you said we should continue. So what I yeah, want to say now is that I want to say something. I want to say that from the whole, this scenario you just described, because I personally didn't even care of all this. But from what you painted, could it even be that's from inception. He asked her to stylishly come and meet you to see it's if possible. you possible. There's talk. nothing he cannot do. They asked me to debunk, which think. I said I'm not going to debunk. And they offered to give me money, which is why they okay. started that 10 million era there. So who offered the money? Was it Stella or? No, it was jumping? another lady called Blessing Ebuson. I have it on my phone. You understand? She said okay. I should just do it and debunk and all that. You shouldn't be the one telling me this thing. Sulema, uh, uh, Justin should be the one telling me. You understand? I don't understand all yes. those messages. I'm in pain. I'm dying. You are telling me to debunk. Debunk what? Well, what kind of advice can you give? Because there are a lot of women who are listening to this. And um, there is this thing inside of them that will still draw them to, in quote, men of whatever it is. Now, this is not just pastors doing these things. This ritual, whatever it is, is global. It is everywhere in the world. You just have to be careful. You have to be careful. There is nobody that can be trusted anymore. Well, we thank God that she is alive to say all of this. Either Suleiman did it or not. We don't know. Um, anyone can come up with any story. And it could be real. People, um, human beings have gone as far as you know inventing airplanes and very complex so to lie is not something that is difficult for anybody to do but then but then we have to be very careful because the same human beings that invented all of these things can still come to pretend like they do not know it is so sad it's so terrible i mean is it that there are no pastors prophets real men of god in nigeria who god has revealed to to see if one person is a man of God or not. Or God has revealed it to them, but they are not instructed to speak. Like, shut your mouth. Don't say anything. Is a man of God because if you speak, they will attack you. Just go on with what I've given to you. I will deal with this person. This person is coming to his or her downfall. But at the end of the day, 
Um, you know, it's so sad because they will destroy a lot of lives. What advice can we give again? Fear God and do right. She has said a lot and I don't want to put holes into what she has said because uh, we do not have the same level of understanding. Neither do we have the same level of, uh, you know, of, uh, of morality. She said she did not know that Suleiman, she said, I was told this is what you are going to do. Then she... He told her that she is a Sunday school teacher, not pastor of this and that. And like I said, Suleiman's church is just seven years. They said she said that they dated for years, and it seems to be at the beginning, almost like at the beginning of Suleiman's big boy into the ministry, like you know, like a stepping stone into the ministry. And maybe he was instructed to look for people who have glory, and not just him alone. Many people have been tacked into this occultism it seems 90 or let's say let's be, let us be fair let us be fair because we still have remnant the people that god is still working with it seems 75 percent of those people who call themselves pastors men of god i don't want to talk of islam now because i don't want to talk about them let us talk about this christianity 70 percent or 75 percent of them are occultic they are not in line with god the ones who think that god called them simply are into divination they are using familiar spirits to operate and they call themselves pastors and prophets well this is what it is alima has broken it down she has decided to share her story i know she's going to go through a lot of attacks she has also gone through a lot of spiritual enforcement here and there but none of this have been able to get her off totally from the clutches of what has happened to her it is so sad it is so sad it is this kind of thing kind of um well hopefully she will not come after some time to debunk and say well i just i was put to this because that is another problem again <laughs> that is why i say let us just keep our two eyes open not one what are your thoughts as regards this well let us be that in the comment section below don't forget to like and share this video don't forget to subscribe i say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel and if you're yet to subscribe kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded